So let's talk about this recovery process. It has been the most painful shit I have ever gone through in my entire life. I've experienced excruciating menstrual cramps since the age of nine. I've experienced contractions. I've experienced childbirth. I've been Honey, I've never dealt with anything that has hurt as bad as this. This process has been a time. I was admitted in the hospital on a Monday. I got discharged that Friday. And baby, <laughs> it's been a time. And I'm so fortunate to have my woman, to have my wife, because is no way I would have been able to recover without her. I She literally had to wait on me hand and foot. And that was hard for me because I'm so independent. I'm not used to having help or even needing help or wanting help. And here I am in a situation where I needed my wife to help me wipe. I need my wife to shower me i need my wife to lotion me down because the pain is so bad that i can't bend and i can't reach my thighs let alone my feet like i need help putting clothes on my wife had to cook for me she has feet it's, it's been a time the pain is so excruciating it's very hard for me to explain because I didn't expect this. I expected a laparoscopy. I know how to deal with that. Take a couple of Motrin's. I was good. I've had those before. I did not expect to leave the hospital with a, a incision this long and that incision hurting just because I'm breathing. Um, then it was a phase where I was constipated for about three, three and a half weeks. So now I have the pain from the surgery, the pain from the incisions. So I have my outside incision is hurting. Whatever they stitched up inside is hurting. And now I have the constipation pain for everything being balled up. That was painful. I could barely walk because my incision is so far down in my pubic area. Every step feels like something is yanking open. And when I finally did start to get on the stairs a little bit, I would say like week four, I think that's when the bottom of my incision opened up a little bit. It's like about that, just that small. And it hurts so bad. You feel it with every single step then when that incision opened a little bit at the bottom it started releasing an odor I had to go to the doctor thank god it wasn't infected but that released some type of odor um that made me have insecurities about myself the way my stomach look now it made me have insecurities about myself is my stomach stomach smaller than what it was when i first went in the hospital absolutely but <laughs> my stomach was smooth now my stomach is split in half it looks like i have two it physically felt and feels like a million needles is inside my stomach and just yanking just digging in meat and just yanking it back and that's how it feels Every time I take a step, it feels like my incision is opening, although it's closed. Um, then I went through the process of not being able to poo. And then when I did poo, it felt like, oh my God, you know the ring of fire that they talk about when you give birth vaginally? It felt 12 times worse than that. It felt, whew, it felt like two heads was trying to come out of my butthole at the same time. Then it was the phase where I started to get a little feeling back in my vagina and I sneezed. I freaked out. I started crying. 
I had my wife ran upstairs. I literally thought I sneezed my vagina off. Like I've lit I honestly thought my vagina was chilling beside me going through that phase. It's this is the most painful shit I ever gone through. Honestly. I have people, I have friends who feel like, oh my God, I wish I can get a hysterectomy. Oh my God, I want one. Oh my God. And I'm just sitting there trying not to judge, but I find myself being like, you really would want to go through this? Like, I would rather have the mystery cycle of all of my friends instead of going through this again. This was so horrible. It was horrible and it still is. Today I'm feeling good. I feel great. Um, I feel kind of refreshed. As long as I'm sitting down. Soon as I stand up, there's a reminder. Girl, you ain't healed yet. Something is yanking. Something is pulling. My wife and I went to the grocery store this morning. I didn't even walk around the whole store. When we left the store, from the store to the truck, it felt like with each step, everything that's inside was about to come out through my incision. So I'm definitely not healed yet, but I know it's coming. It's definitely, it's coming. Like I've been sitting in this chair trying to finish this video for every bit of an hour now. I don't even, the camera will be off when I get up. Let's just say that. A lot of people have been asking me, are you okay? What's going on? You good? And I find myself always just saying, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. And the truth is, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. But I'm okay with being okay because I have no other choice but to be okay. So I know I will get there, but in this very moment, I'm not okay. The physical pain of this process has been so bad that I haven't had time to focus on anything else. The physical pain itself has been so bad, so exhausting that I haven't had time to process, accept, or acknowledge any emotional or mental feelings I have about this process. So I'm here, y'all. I'm here and I'm thankful for that. So we'll talk some more about this stuff a little later, but I hope you guys enjoy your weekend.